I'm Andrew Edwards, and you're watching Gear Live. The day after announcing the new Apple Watches last week, Apple released the final version of iOS 14 to the public. Since then, I've gotten a lot of questions about all the new features and if upgrading is worth it. In this video, I tell you about some of the secret iOS 14 features that Apple didn't tell you about, all of which make your iPhone even better. What's going on tech squad? Andrew Edwards here. And as I mentioned, we're taking a look at some of the more hidden features in iOS 14. I've got a list of 10 features I'm gonna tell you about along with a bunch of bonus features at the very end. Now let's get started with a really cool one, hand and body pose detection. If you're a gamer and you're familiar with Microsoft Connect, that's kind of what it is, but built right into your iPhone. Hand and body pose detection will allow apps to analyze poses, movements, and gestures of people. So for example, a fitness app could automatically track your movements to see if you're doing an exercise properly, or a media app could find photos or videos based on a certain post. Hand pose detection is included here too, which will allow new ways of interacting with apps. Apple demonstrated this back in a WWDC session by showing an app that recognizes when a person holds their thumb and index finger together, which then let them draw in the app without needing to touch the display. Another example is an app that can overlay hand emoji or other graphics that match what the user is doing, like a peace sign. The next feature we need to talk about is actually a nice segue from hand and body post detection, and that's FaceTime sign language recognition. So you know how FaceTime and other video chat apps for that matter will bring the person who's talking to the forefront so everyone can see them. Well, in a huge move for accessibility, FaceTime will do the same thing when a person on a group call is signing in American Sign Language, even if they aren't speaking audibly. So as someone starts speaking in American Sign Language, they will be brought to the forefront of the video chat for other people to see them more clearly. All right, next up, let's talk about optimized AirPods charging. Similar to the optimized iPhone charging feature that was introduced last year in iOS 13, iOS 14 does the same for the AirPods. The way it works is simple. If you have the feature enabled, Apple will learn your charging routine. When you charge your AirPods overnight, they'll charge up to 80%, and then we'll wait to finish the charge to 100% until closer to the time where you typically take them off the charger. This charging method does a great job at slowing battery aging, allowing your devices to last longer before the batteries end up going bad. By the way, if you miss it, I did do a video dedicated to all the new features available in AirPods and AirPods Pro in iOS 14. So be sure to check that one out if you haven't seen it. I will link to it down below. And by the way, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I will be doing coverage of all of the major fall releases here on the channel. Up next, Apple TV 4K and iOS will stream 4K YouTube video. One of the biggest disappointments for purchasers of the Apple TV 4K set-top box was that despite the name, the one major holdout on streaming 4K content on the device was YouTube, the largest video streaming platform on the planet. Instead, Apple TV 4K owners were stuck with 1080p from YouTube. Now it's unclear if this change that is now allowing the Apple TV 4K to stream YouTube content is a result of YouTube adapting to the Apple TV or Apple adding something extra on their end, but the end result is that consumers will get access to YouTube videos in 4K and even HDR when streaming through Apple's set-top box. Oh, and as a bonus, AirPlay 2 on Apple TV also supports 4K streaming in iOS 14 as well. Next up, let's talk about BackTap. This is a new fantastically named feature in iOS 14 that specifically works with any device that supports Face ID. BackTap is a feature that you can enable that will allow you to perform common tasks by double and triple tapping on the back of your iPhone. You can set these to do things like take a screenshot, bring up notification center, Siri, or the app switcher, change your volume, or even run a shortcut. So for me, I have double tap set to take a screenshot and triple tap set to turn on my Tesla Model Y and set the temperature to 70 degrees. Speaking of cars, next let's talk about Apple Car Key, or more specifically, how Car Key will work when your phone dies. Apple announced the new Car Key functionality, which allows you to use your iPhone as your key to unlock your doors and start your car. Since then, people have been wondering, what happens if you drive somewhere, you're out for the day, and your phone dies before you get back to your car? Well, I asked Apple and it turns out that even if your iPhone 
runs out of battery, car key can still work for an additional five hours after that. So if you're out and about and your phone dies, just be sure you're back at your vehicle before that five hour window closes if you aren't able to charge up somewhere. Up next, an interesting one for all you gamers out there in iOS 14, iPad games now support keyboards, trackpads, and mice. So that's right, you're no longer limited to either a Bluetooth controller or touchscreen controls when playing games on the iPad. If you wanna connect a keyboard and mouse when getting in on Fortnite, whoops, I mean PUBG or Call of Duty, Apple's got you covered on the iPad. Next up, let's talk about the HomePod third-party music streaming. One of the main complaints that people have had with the HomePod is that it only worked with Apple Music unless you used AirPlay to stream to it. With iOS 14, the HomePod now supports third-party music streaming services as well, allowing you to use Spotify, Tidal, and others so at this point, it's now up to those third-party services to update their apps in order to add HomePod support. Another one of the biggest complaints on iOS was that you were stuck with the Apple Mail app and Safari as your default email and web browsers, respectively. You could download alternatives, but any link or email address you tapped on would always result in Mail or Safari opening. Now in iOS 14, Apple is letting you change the default email and web browser apps. So if you want email links to open Gmail, Outlook, or Hey, you can do that. If you want web links to open Chrome, Firefox, or Edge, you can do that as well. Next, we have to talk about emoji search. In iOS 14, Apple has system-wide search built right into the keyboard. So now, whenever you switch over to the emoji keyboard, you can type what you're looking for in the search box rather than having to hunt for what you're looking for when you wanna make a point that only the perfect emoji will help with. Okay, I said I had a bunch of bonus features, so now let's jump into the lightning round. First, sound notifications. You'll be able to go into accessibility settings and have your phone give you a notification when it hears something like a dog, cat, running water, a person yelling, and more. Next, when you paste content from your clipboard, you'll get a pop-up that tells you which app the data was initially copied from. Over in the Maps app, you will now be able to see when you're approaching red light cameras as well as speed cameras. And lastly, now that the Apple Watch supports sleep tracking, which means you'll probably be charging it when you're in the shower or at your desk. In iOS 14, you'll get a notification on your phone letting you know when the Apple Watch has been fully charged. Now, like I said earlier, we are in the most exciting time of the year for product releases, and I'll be covering all of Apple's fall releases right here, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell to stay up to date. And for even more tech coverage, check out the Geared Up podcast. Geared Up is a show I do each week with John Rettinger, where we cover the world of tech, gadgets, and games. Just search for Geared Up in your favorite podcast player. Thanks so much for watching. As always, guys, I appreciate your support. I'm Andrew Edwards, and I will catch you in the next video.